Hey, what's up everybody? So, remember the brisket that I made in my brisket video? And then I used some of the fat drippings to make the Yorkshire pudding and stuff like that? Well, this is the leftover brisket that I have left. All right, so, I also made a video because I never cooked a brisket before to where as I show you how my first time ever cooking a brisket, brisket came out. All right, so, now, it's time to reheat this baby. It's been about three days since I made this brisket. Now it's time to reheat it because I'm going to make another dish with this leftover brisket. Today I'm going to make some smoked brisket Alfredo. I think I said it right. Chicken Alfredo. Yeah, brisket Alfredo. That's what it is. All right. So and I'm going to be serving it with some of these um, Yorkshire pudding biscuits that I made. Mm, they're so tasty. You gotta watch the video if you haven't yet and make some delicious. All right. So. It's an easy dish because, like I said, we are working with recipes. This is a video for if you got leftover brisket, what to do with it. All right, so here we go. All right, so I'm using some fettuccine pasta. I'm using some, yes I am, I'm using some jarred classic Alfredo from Ragu. I'm going to doctor it up. And the way I'm going to doctor it up, I have a piece of brisket. Look at that all that smoke and flavor on it. So I have an end of the brisket that I'm going to chop up and I'm going to add it into the sauce so the sauce can take up all that good smoke flavor from the brisket, all right? And then I'm going to add some scallions to it. Yeah, scallions or onions. Some people call them different things, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to chop up some of this and add it to it too to give it some of that flavor. And then towards the end of making the sauce, I'm gonna add some of this. That's right. I'm gonna to top it off with some of this Parmesan cheese because that Parmesan cheese is gonna kick in and give it that nice flavor with the Alfredo and it's gonna be amazing. So the way I'm gonna start off the sauce is I'm gonna put a chunk of butter in the pot, let it melt, then I'm gonna add in the sauce, then I'm gonna add in the chopped up brisket, and then I'm gonna add in some of the scallion, all right? And then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. All right, you guys ready to cook it with me? Here we go. Let's start off chopping up some of these scallions. that to the side. Chop up this brisket. How good you guys can see but man this is some nice brisket look at that smoke on it see that nice smoked brisket a lot of flavor sitting on this because this this is the end part of the brisket where all that fat and flavor just goes down to and it receives a lot of smoke because it's not as thick as um, other parts of the brisket so there's a lot of flavor that's packed into these little pieces a brisket. Now you could chop up the pieces of brisket however thick you want it. All right, off the chunk of butter. Throw this into the pot. I guess now we can focus over on this side of the little pot. All right, we got the piece of butter in there. Let's turn it on until it melts. And this butter is unsalted butter, okay? Don't want it to come out tasting salty when you mix everything together. 
and then you end up with a, a salty alfredo sauce. All right, now we're gonna add the brisket. You know what guys, I have some uh, mushrooms that I need to use. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these um, to the sauce as well. I'm not gonna slice them up, I'm just gonna add them. It should give a really, really nice look to the, um, to the sauce when it's done. All right. This is gonna have some tasty flavor to it. Turn the heat down just a little bit. Don't want it to cook up too fast. Pretty much gonna put it at a simmer level. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in there, then I'm gonna put the lid on. Now, if you have some chicken stock or some beef stock, then you can pour that in there as well and just put the lid on it. Let the stove simmer for a little bit so that way those mushrooms and everything can, um, can combine in flavor. All right, and the pot of water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this fettuccine in there. I'm gonna let my pasta cook for about, about 13 to 15 minutes. Don't wanna have them too soggy. I want them to have that really nice texture to them. Right, add a little bit of salt. All right, now I'm back to the sauce. Man, this smells so good. All right, now we can start add, adding the ragu alfredo sauce. And if you guys are like me, you try to get all the sauce out. So I usually put a little bit of hot water in the jar and I shake it up and then I pour it into the next jar and the next jar. And then I shake that last jar up until I get all the sauce out. Look at that. All that sauce I got out of there. Just make sure you scrape the bottom of the pot so that way the sauce doesn't start sticking and burning. And also make sure you don't have your, your um, pot, the temper, the, the stove turned up too hot. Mmm. Ooh, that's tasty. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on it. And then the pasta should be done probably in about five minutes. And the brisket is in the oven and I have the timer set and it should be done in about 12 minutes. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, the pasta is done, so I'm gonna take it off the stove, put it in a strainer, and then run some cold water over it, so that way it'll stop cooking. All right, let's check on the sauce. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes. It's looking good. 
Look at those mushrooms. Little pieces of brisket floating throughout there. Let's give it a taste because I do believe the sauce is done. Mm. And a good way you can tell your sauce is, is thick enough is that when you swipe your finger through it and it doesn't go back in, then that means your, your sauce is nice and thick. Almost the same thing you would do with the gravy. All right, so now we just gotta wait for the brisket to be done in the oven and then we're gonna plate it up and then we're gonna see how beautiful it looks and then especially see how tasty it is. All right, see you in a little bit. Whoa, almost knocked the camera over. Be right back. All right, the brisket should be ready to come out now. And the Alfredo, the brisket Alfredo is done. So now we're gonna see how this rewarming up the brisket came out. Oh, look at that. Can y'all see that? Nice and juicy. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. Look at that bark. Mm. Warmed up really, really nice. Let me cut a few more slices because it's going to go on the plate with the Alfredo. All right. Let's get a plate. All right, we got our plate of fettuccine. Mm. Let's get real close and personal with the plate. This Alfredo sauce has the little chunks of brisket in it. The mushrooms. Look at that. Lovely. And I love mushrooms, so gotta put that on there. And then we're gonna take one of these good old Yorkshire pudding that I made in a different video. I'm using the fat drippings from the brisket. And then we're gonna take some of these slices of smoked brisket, put it on the plate like that. Drizzle some Alfredo on it. Mmm. That is going to be a good dish. All right. There you go. This is one tasty dish. I'm telling you, you have your smoked brisket and you have your Alfredo sauce that has chunks of the smoked brisket in it with some mushrooms. Mmm. You cannot beat that. And then, of course, to top it off, almost forgot to do that. Got to top it off with some good old Parmesan cheese. And then that will be a complete dish. Beautiful. All right, that's the dish y'all. Make sure when you have some leftover brisket, you make this dish, all right? You guys be safe and be bold out there. Be bold and be safe. And I will see you on the next video. It's time to eat. Now go make some.